This is part two of Radiant Map. Uh, how to a Radiant COD two mapping tools. How to make your IWD and test your first map. Okay. Uh, firstly, we're gonna need the Maps folder and the MP folder. So right click on your desktop, click New, fo New, and then click Folder. Type in Maps. Then you'll have this folder. Do the same for the MP folder. Okay, inside the maps folder you're going to need another MP folder. So right click, click new, go to folder, and select and type in MP, which I already have all this ready, so we don't need to do that. Inside the MP folder, this is where you're going to need to paste that file that we used this compiler to compile, and you're going to need that. You're going to have to do that with the compiler. So go to go into your main maps MP, and there's your temp. We need the dot B or we need a dot D three D BSP file, the MP underscore temp. We don't need the PRT file, so copy that, close that, because we won't need that again. Go to Maps MP, and then you would paste that in there. Since I already have it in there, I'm just gonna not copy it because it's already ready. But that's what you gotta do to put, and you put that in your MP. But then we also need two more things in the M in this folder actually. We're going to need a CSV file and a .gsc file. To make those, you need to go to Start Notepad, and you need to type. This is we're gonna make. This one's gonna be for our uh, our CSV file. We need to have this in for the CSV file. You see how it's MP underscore temp for the map. See how it's MP temp for the map that. It, it matches this under you need that okay that's for the load screen so we're gonna go to save as go and we're gonna go to our maps MP and we're gonna name this MP underscore temp dot C A C S B file this needs to be changed to all files now click save as you see we have a dot we have a CSV file in this the next folder, the next file we're gonna need is a .gsc file. I'm copying all this from elsewhere, okay? And I will do, I will put all these information in the description, but it needs to look like this. Your .gsc file. We're gonna click File, Save As. This is also going into the the Maps MP MP underscore temp .gsc file. Click Save or click All Files, Save. Now we have a .gsc file that's everything we don't need to do anything else into this maps folder that's it next we need an arena file but it needs to go in this MP folder okay and I'll copy the arena file out of here I'll explain that in just one second go to notepad click paste and as you see this is the map name this needs to be the true map name MP underscore temp what we named the map at the very beginning of creating it in the Call of Duty 2 Radiant Tools. This is the long name. This is what is going to show up in the actual game of Call of Duty. It does not matter what you put it as. Game type. Since we only put a deathmatch spawn point in the actual map, that's all we can have because that's all we have. So there's a deathmatch. Everything's set up for that. So file, save as. We need to go mp underscore temp dot arena. A-R-E-N-A. -E and go to all files. But this needs to be in the MP folder instead of that uh, maps folder. So let's find the MP folder on the desktop. And as you can see it's empty. Make sure this is to all files. Save it. Now there's our arena file. Everything is set up correctly. You will need Packscape to do this. And in order to get Packscape, you need to go to this link here, download it and save it to your desktop because it's such a small program there's no installing needed it'll just look like this you double click this you run this setup and that's it it automatically starts no install needed drag this down underneath where you made your your folders cuz you need to click this little what this little white page here it'll make a new folder pull your mouse around the maps and mp drag them with your left mouse paste them in there and now that you see those are both in there maps mp file save make sure it's saved into your desktop go to mp or type in mp underscore temp dot iwd 
has to be a dot IWD has to be save that it builds it there's your IWD file right there has what you need inside of it okay copy this go to main paste it in your main and now that it's in there just run your Call of Duty 2 like you would normally make sure you're running your multiplayer unfortunately with cam studio you cannot see what I'm doing in my game it's just a black screen I apologize for that there's nothing I can do I've tried but I'm gonna give you directions and you can just listen go to start new server and in game type make sure it's a deathmatch because remember what I said we only made it a deathmatch server name does not matter dedicated no make sure it's set to no and pure make it yes because you want to make sure your maps are pure if they don't run on pure then you've got a t an invalid texture in it okay and then on the right select the map which would be temp and red since I had that up one carrot and that's your red temp map it, it'll say temp and red and but there's no load screen which I'm gonna show in the next video how to make a load screen so all you see is a bunch of blocks that looks like a an off-colored checkered board. Anyways, make sure your attempt map selected and click start. Once started, select your team. I'm just going to select German, a weapon, and I have my orange light on the right corner. I have my white light on the left corner. I'm spawning from this corner, um, from one of the corners. The other corner, there's nothing in, and it's just a regular map. I've got all four of my walls, pistol, ceiling, floor, everything set up there's it's completely working to perfect once you know your map is working that's when you need to start you, you can take and build your own map make sure to test it often make sure before you publish it completely on the internet you want to make sure that you get it rid of all of the all of the glitches you know you want it to be glitch free i'm going to make more tutorials on call of duty 2 radiant mappings because it is a very complex program for people who does not know how to use it Thank you.